Hi guys, this is Tracy from Brownell Creative. In this video I'm going to show you how to create anchors on your Wix site. So here I have my landing page set up and you'll see if you scroll down I've got a couple of full width strips set up underneath each other. Let's just keep scrolling down and then I've got a welcome message, a bit of a portfolio, and at the bottom, we've got a services section about what we do. But what we want to do, because it's quite a long scrolling page, is we want to set up some anchor points so that we can get to these sections really quickly without having to scroll. And with Wix, there's a really easy way to do this, and it's called anchors. And what that does is it anchors the various sections on your page. It creates links and you can link to those anchors by creating a, a link on text or buttons or anything really. So the first thing we're going to go and do is we're going to create some anchors on the page. So you'll get this under this menu and under more and you'll see anchor. So once you've added your first anchor you'll see it pop up like this what you've got to do is you've got to drag it down to where you want it to be. So that'll be our first one. And right over here we name it. So I'm going to name this one Rock Freight. Because this is the Rock Freight strip that I want to get to first. And we're going to continue to do that by going down to each strip and creating an anchor for each section that we want to get to real quick. So this one I'm going to name Jasmine. And we're just going to keep on doing it all the way down the page. Right, so this one we're going to name Jackery because that's the name of that strip. And we're going to move down. And we're going to add one over here by the work. And we're going to call this one work. So you can see what we're doing here. We just placing anchors all the way down the page to the various sections that we want to get to real quick. And this one we're going to call services. Right, so that's all our anchors in place. Nicely positioned. Really important when you're naming adding a quite a few anchors that you name them and I'll show you why later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add an anchor menu and here you go you got a couple of anchor menus already set up by Wix but you can customize these and I'll show you how. So we'll just select this one for now. Right, and what we're going to do here is, you see this little pin icon? Well, that means you can pin it to the screen where you want to position it. So we'll leave it in the, in the middle. But what we'll do is we're going to bring it in a little bit so that it appears very nicely and it doesn't get cut off. And we're just going to stretch it out a bit because it looks a bit crammed up. So what we're going to do is we are going to now, you'll see that it's added automatically. All the anchors that we've just added and we've named, it's all set up here in the anchor menu manager. Right, so you click on any one of these now. And it'll take you to each of the anchors that you've created. That's 
our work one. And the last one should be services. So if you click on the really first one, it's going to take you right up to the top of the page. So that's going to give your user on your website a really nice, easy flowing navigation tool. But what we want to do is we want to customize this menu so that it matches the colors we've used in our website. So what we do is we select it, up pops the menu, and we want to customize the design. So what we're going to do here at the moment, it's pink, which is something we want to change. I've already got my site color set up, so we want to make that blue. Um, when it's clicked, we want to make that blue too. So what you'll see is when it scrolls down, it's changing color at the moment. And it's changing to the blue that we've set it to. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this match to background off and see how that works. So you see when we you click on settings and what you've got it's on default match to background and that's why it's showing up as black and as we're scrolling down it's changing color it's matching it to the background so that it's always visible but what we really want to do is we want it to be blue all the time so we're going to go into settings and we're going to deselect that and there you go it's set up as blue which matches the site colors very nicely so that's our first anchor menu that we've set up, which is really nice and easy to use. But what else we can do, still using the anchors that we've set up, is we can create anchors, uh, anchor links by even adding it to text. And I'll show you how we do that. So what we want to do is we scroll down here and you'll see I've got two buttons set up. So I'm going to add a link to this work button to this work anchor which I've set up over here already. And how we're going to do that is you see this link icon over here, we're going to select that. And you've got a whole bunch of options over here. What we want to do is select page anchor. So there's the home page. And where on the page would you like this button to link to? So we're going to open up this menu. And we're going to select work. Done. And if you preview it, it's going to take you to your work anchor. So you see there's no limit to how you can link to an anchor on your page. And the same thing we're going to do with the services button. We're going to open up the link. Anchor. And we're going to go find the services. And there you go. And that's going to take you down to your services section. So that's just some really easy um, to use anchor suggestions and what you can do. Um, it's, it's a really great tool to use when you've got a long scrolling page like this. Um, because it just it just gives your user um, a really quick easy navigation tool for them to get to all the sections on your page really quickly and smoothly.